coming. I'm really nervous. I didn't know I was going to do a talk today, but I saw it was empty. I might as well talk. <laughs> so this is my first year at Bar Camp. Thank you. So this is my first year here. I didn't know this existed, and I'm really happy. I met a lot of people. I see a lot of people I met earlier yesterday and today. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Ionic. So I know a lot of people I've heard, like, I've never wanted to do an app. I don't know how to do it. I don't know a native language. Thankfully, Ionic came out, and it's a hybrid. So you can both do um, iOS and Android. And then you can do a little bit of Angular TypeScript. I believe the newest version is TypeScript. And so uh, I actually stumbled upon this because my new internship is teaching me how to do this stuff. So I was just like, wow. So it's only been a month. So bear with me. I'm going to be learning with you. And so I'm just going to dive in. So usually you can just go into the documentation with Ionic, and they have all these components ready to go for you. So they have like badges. You can do lots of stuff. So you got cards, check boxes. They even have their own grid system as well. And so we're just going to dive in. So usually um, I am not a great designer. I don't know like what colors I should use. And so one thing I've learned, there's like color hunt. I use Pinterest a lot. I hope everybody knows Pinterest. So I just type in UX UI, get some design inspiration. And then I just look around and it's like, oh, cool. I kind of like this login screen. Ooh, it's going to take me there. And so I just kind of go with it. And I wanted to see if you guys maybe want to put some input in what you want me to pull up or do. Does anybody want to? Play, like, tell me what kind of components you want to see. Nothing? Um, so, like, what kind of app or just a component? So yeah, so we have, I can do a card. I can do, like, a login screen for you guys. Uh, how about a flow? What was that? Process flow, steps. Like, just go step by step? No, like, yeah, where the component is a graph, the component is represented to the user, it takes step, you know, one piece of information and there's a second piece of information. Like a popping, okay, we'll also go with that. So, First of all, you go on your command line. Um, Ionic actually does a pretty nice thing. So you can start with the application that already has tabs in it. You can do um, slides in it already. Or you can start with a blank page. So I already have, I already created one. You just do Ionic start um, tabs, and then it's ready to go for you. Um, Ionic does pages. So these are all your pages right here. And then you have your app. And this is usually the root one you're going to be using. So basically how it works, it's, um, it kind of stacks each page on top of another. So usually when you're trying to communicate between page, you kind of either pop or push. And that's how you also push data. And so I'm just going to go for it and go. I started this um, just simple page. And I can go ahead and serve it for you. Just do Ionic serve. I was going to do a seven minute talk, but I didn't want to take much time, such so as at 30. So we'll see how this goes. Oop. That's right work. And it should hopefully go up. And so let's do this. And I kind of cheat so you can kind of see where it's going to go. And then let's do this one. It's supposed to be having, ooh, it's supposed to have tabs on the bottom. Give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and serve it again. My computer. Are you just trying to engine serve? Um, Ionic serve. Okay. Yeah. Usually, it's supposed to give me some tabs. We're going to go ahead and get out of these things. That's the page that it took me to. So I'll wait a little bit. <sighs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to sweat a lot, but we'll see. Um, if not, we can just go ahead and go for it. We can just start playing with it. I really just wanted to focus. There we go. So this is the tabs. Um, this was the little app that I was working on. So it just pretty much has one page. You click on it. It pops you to the other page, which is just the um, type of um, um, quote you want. So there's inspiration, motivational, love. Um, I use this little component to do like a little pop-up. And these are really easy. I'll just show you the code. And it was just super basic. Um, let's see here. So this is about it. Um, I didn't want to go a lot of into the TypeScript just because I'm still learning. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to really teach you much. I just wanted to focus on the components themselves. And so this is just pretty, this is all it took to do that right here. And then I'll show you. 
um, going to the TypeScript, and then this is just um, sending some information to the other page, which the quote one is the one that's going to be stacking on top of it, and that's where you get the quote, and then it has all this information as well. So I was going to go ahead and just take you how to do a simple login screen, if that's okay. Yeah. That's good? All right, thanks. So I'll go ahead and do my favorite. That's where I put the page. I already put the image in there just because I want to take time to just <coughs> type it in. So the best way I learned, I just go into the Ionic component, use their, just kind of see their little examples, and then just kind of apply them to mine. So let's go look at their inputs. Let's see. So they have all these type of inputs. My favorite types are floating ones because they look pretty neat. So these are just fixed line ones, so they just kind of stick, stay there. And then floating labels. These are my favorite. These are my mentor's favorite. He'll see this and he freaks out. He's like, whoa, floating labels. <laughs> so we do these ones. So I mean, right here you put in a list, item, type, and then your input type, which should be text. And then you can use this here. Let's just do it right over here. Sorry, keep doing that. So let's do this. Let's do, well actually, we have to do an ion card content, because that's going to be inside your card content. And then do an ion list, because we're going to be listing these here. And then ion item. And then I forgot the name of it. Can't type, I'm very nervous. And then, ah, I keep doing that. So ion label, so this is going to be the label right up here. And then input type is a type. And then this will be able to also do a type of like data binding, which I wish I can go into, but I'm not the best teacher. So we'll do label. Uh, I am label. And let's name it username. And then we'll do I on input. And then we don't really have to do anything in there. We're just designing this. And then that's about it. Just save it. It does it automatically for you. And then there's a little username. And then it's, sh oh, I forgot to add. So this is good. So I'm here. So in order to do um, floating labels, you have to do a, um, what did I do? It should be type floating. Uh, that's what it is. Because these are inline. Where is it? Floating labels. Oh. Where is it? Oh, nope. I'm going too fast. Okay, let's go inputs. Navigation. Okay, so we have to add this floating in it to be able to do a floating. So we would do, I believe it's in the label, floating. Save it. And then, boom, it's floating now. So it's pretty easy. Ooh. And then we're going to add another one for our um, password. So we use the same thing. We do an ion item, ion label. And it's kind of nice because it already tells you what type you want. Do password. We need to add that floating. And then save everything. And then maybe, I think I forgot to add an ion item. Let's see here. Oh, I forgot I added an input, the most important part. Let's, uh, let's see here. And then there it is. That's how it is. We'll add a button. Um, they have these really good um, buttons. So they have different default styles. There's like an outline one. Um, so these are both for like iOS, Android, and Windows too, which I thought was really neat. And then they have even icon buttons too, which I thought is really neat. Uh -huh. Let's see. So these ones right here, like work, pub, and you only have to use the ion icon one and then put the name, and this is the name of the icon you want to add. So we can do that if we really want to. So we can do um, button, ion button, and then let's see what this looks like. I I think that should be fine, maybe. Unless I need, oh, well, I need to put a name. Let's say login. Let me 
maybe. Did I forget something? Go back in there. Look. Don't be afraid to look. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Simple button. I did it right. I am button button. Maybe it's not working. And maybe it is because I put it in the input. Exactly. There we go. We're all learning. <laughs> Let's do this. So we need to put it on the bottom of the item. And then save. And let's see if it works now. Look at that, it's a login. And that's pretty much it. So yeah. So I've been learning this for a month. I'm still tweaking with it. I'm still learning how to pass data. Um, and the neat thing with this is because I'm, as I'm learning, I can see all this documentation and kind of play with it around, which is pretty neat. And I just wanted to show everybody that you can make apps with Ionic. Um, if you just know basic JavaScript, TypeScript, um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't know if I was going to take this short amount of time. Is there any other stuff you guys want to see, or? Did you do anything special to get Visual Studio code to know about all your tags? Because there's um, like all these, this really amazing code completion. Um, you know what? It might be an extension that I might have put in here as well. Okay. Um, I think it might have been the extension Angular that I put in here. Okay. So yeah, that's about it. Um, we can still look, play with some stuff too. Let's um, see. Could you add like a, maybe like a form validation? So like email, input, like a different, uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Um, like a different type of form or field. Like different types of fields? Like input fields? Yes. Yeah, we can look around that. Um, we can look at. Oh, uh, or like a drop down. Like a drop, like a toggle or something. Yeah, like on that. Yeah, here I'll go ahead and do. I'll look at the menu because we also have navigation. I do like these pretty neat already. Um, let's see. Let's see how we we're, we're we're gonna play around with this. So they have like toggle menus too. So let's see. So we'll go ahead at a toolbar, do some continents, and we're actually gonna have to do some coding here. Page events page. But I'll go ahead and just show you. Maybe I can do, let's see. Um, let's go for a different page, because I already have some information on these. Let's go to quotes. Um, I can show you, actually, some of the code I did for um, this one here, in which they kind of pass data around. Okay, yeah, that's really yeah. So. Usually, on my quotes HTML here, let's see what I did here. So, so first of all, I added a bunch of data in a um, folder here, a little bit of interface, did the type I'm going to be um, accessing, so ID, person, text, so I'm just doing simple quotes. Then I did like a fake little mock here, and I had a little icon ready to go. And then this, I imported it in my TypeScript. So I imported the quote from the data quote interface, and then I kind of did this little, um, I did the type of which I'm going to be accessing to it. So category, which is a string, quotes, the quote um, array, and then the icon, which is a string. And I can actually show you where all that is here. Where is it? Right here. So there is the quote array here, the category, and the ID person text and then the icon. So I put this right over here, tell it, telling it what I'm going to be accessing. And then this right here, um, the public nav params, nav params is taking this information and then um, giving it to this different page that I'm going to be accessing. So this is where it has the that data here. And then this will let it access it from here in the quote. And so it's right here. It goes in the constructor, and then I imported the nav control and FRAM. So that's how, whenever I press it, it pops the other page, and it already has. I did, I believe it's data binding in order to access that. Which we an item title quote, which is right over here. I believe I'm correct. No, it's not. But let's see here. How's that work? Great. Ooh. So, I'm trying to see. I was actually looking at this earlier where I pass all this data. 
And I wish I can show you exactly where, but I sort of forgot. But yeah, I just wanted to show people that they can do this just with basic um, JavaScript yeah, scripts. The, and then, the way that at least the main site yeah. previews a lot of that information, the layouts, things like that. Exactly, and it's so Something easy. I wish Bootstrap had. Yeah. <laughs> And so, um, yeah, these are all your components you can use. There's just so many. I wish I can go through each one. But like I said, I'm still learning. And I just wanted to fill in the time slot so people can see something different. What sort of things are you working on right now with this? Like a couple so, so this one, at work, we're just doing a basic um, application they use at work themselves, so just the employees use. And so they use an old Angular material, but they wanted to change it. Um, we're still working on it um, just because Angular Material had a data table that they used and Ionic doesn't have one. So it always comes with, okay, we're going to remove Material, but there's some components that we really liked about it. And so it's just been kind of a learning curve. So, yeah. Can I show you guys anything else? I'm sorry I didn't really talk much. I just wanted to show, like, what's uh -huh. out there. <laughs> this is wonderful. It's so impressive how much you can do. Yeah, thank you. But. Yeah. So, I mean, just pull it up. It gives you like little demos too, which is great. So let's see. Go to like we'll use basic usage. Go to the demo source, and then I believe it takes you to GitHub. And so you kind of see all the uh, examples. If it loads. It seems like you can serve it onto a web page as a mobile app or compile it into a native app. Is that yeah. Cool? So um, there are some drawbacks, especially with like Mac, because in order to um, deploy it, you have to have a MacBook, and then even then, it kind of you gotta fix some bugs and um, there's some drawbacks. But um, I haven't deployed anything yet, so I can give you. I read a lot of things on blogs that say it just depends on the application you're making. Um, I see a lot of great reviews of people and some don't. So this is the, the little alert you can do. And there's just so many other things. And it's so fun. Um, this doesn't really scroll. Um, search bars, segments. I really like these. And I wish I can create one. I wonder if I can make a different one so I can show you. How, I don't know if it's going to work. I was going to make one ready to go so I can just show you. Bionic, oh. Bionic start uh, our app. And then we're going to do tabs. Let's see if it works. It was giving me an error. Ooh, maybe it's going to work this time. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is how you create one. And like I said, they have different um, types that you can already start. So you can start with the tabs, which creates three tabs for you. Um, let me see. Um, let's see, intro. I wonder if it's under concepts. No. Ionic, types of Ionic. Um, dating, maybe. And so let's see. So let me see if it says anything in here about it. I actually have a creator too, which I thought was pretty neat. So it's basically like drag and drop if you really wanted to go that route. Um, it doesn't show me anything. What did I click last time? Let me see. Yeah, and that's what it gives me. So I'm not able to, I don't know what this is. So I'm not able to show you how it creates that one. But let me see, tutorial. There we go, okay. So this one shows you, um, provides um, templates. So the tab, side menu, blank, super, and a tutorial one. So the super one gives you like tabs, pop-ups. They give you a little, um, um, a bit of like uh, pictures already. You can click on it. It tells you information of the person. I wish I could really show you. I wonder if I have any other projects I can maybe show you that I've worked on, but I don't have that many. Ooh. Like I said, I just started last month, and let's see. Uh, I'm, at the desk. Uh, I'm here. I'm learning. Um, and I have work requests. I wonder. I don't know if I'm able to show you the. One that I've been working on. Uh, I can maybe show you my coffee house one if I have it. Um, 
if it's even if I have anything done with it, but I doubt it. But that's about it, guys. I wish I had more. But yeah. Thanks. <laughs>